Well, good morning and welcome to another Simply Gregster EV review. Today we're going to do a charging test with the Ionic 6 or try to do a charging test. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're just about to leave my house. We're going to head up to a Electrified Canada site about 40, 50 kilometers north of where I live. We're at 26% state of charge. It's 4 degrees Celsius outside. So it's uh, pretty cold. Hopefully we get up there. It will drop down to maybe 15% state of charge. I'd like to get it as close to 10% as possible for this charging test. Um, if the site, if the Electrify Canada site doesn't work at 350 kilowatt um, charger, we're gonna go to the site in Laval where I had the Polestar 2. Hopefully it, it will work there. I really wanna see some big numbers with this car. Uh, I'm gonna try to precondition the battery. The battery preconditioning in this Ionic 6 is very convoluted how it works. Like it has to be a certain temperature, a certain state of charge, a certain distance. There's all these weird parameters that they put in to, to precondition the battery, which is very convoluted. I wish it was just like Tesla. Do you want to go here? It starts preconditioning right away. Or just give me a, a button somewhere that says battery preconditioning. Like that's all you really need. So yeah, we're, we're going to do that. We're going to try to get some big numbers on the uh, charger. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let's try to have some fun. So okay, so we got battery conditioning going. We have a little red symbol in the battery. That means preconditioning is going. So hopefully we can get some good numbers on this charging session. <laughs> There's no one here. It was a bit strange getting into the parking lot. Uh, Preconditioning turned off around 17% state of charge. So hopefully we have enough heat in the battery to uh, do this. Open up the charge port. Take that out. Let's try cable one. Plug in first. We'll plug in. These are the um, Huber Schooner ones. These are actually really good handles. All right, we are in. Connecting to vehicle, we'll open up the app. We are here at four. Connector one, swipe the charge. It says initiating charge. Initiating, it's, it's turning on. Let's see what we get. Cross his fingers. Welcome, Gregory. Still saying initiating. Charging, the car said charging has started. Let's see what, uh, what goes on. I hate touching buttons on these Electrify Canada sites. It could go horribly wrong. But it's definitely delivering some sort of energy. We're 156 kilowatts, 162 kilowatts. We plug the Ionic 6 in to Electrify Canada 350 kilowatt charger. Uh, we got here 11% state of charge. We've been charging for about two or three minutes. We're already at 20%. We're pulling 175 kilowatts. Hopefully we start seeing some higher numbers. This car, this car should top out, I think 220, 225 kilowatts, something around there, maybe 230. Um, I think we got a good, I think we ended up getting a good pre-charge session. As I mentioned in the previous video, the charging, sorry, the preconditioning is not the best in this car. It's absolutely very convoluted to use and it turned off around 17% state of charge on the way up here. We actually got here at 11% and in initiated the charge within a minute, I would say, which is pretty good. So we'll see what, what uh, we're going up. We're doing 152 kilowatts. It just shot up to around 200 kilowatts for about, for about uh, 10, 15 seconds, then tapered back down. 
The highest I've seen when we first plugged it in, it ramped up to about 175. So the battery still might be a bit cold or um, as the pack voltage rises, it's really limiting the uh, power. But no, so far so good here. I really wish I would have filmed when it spiked to 200, but uh, yeah, everything's going well. Still charging away here. We are at, uh, it says 18 minutes left. It's, as I mentioned, it's, pl I plugged in around 11% state of charge. It hit 175 tapered out to about uh, 165, went down to 155, held there for quite a while. Um, it spiked about 200, 215 for about 10 or 15 seconds, then went back down to 175. I actually think we're hovering around 150 now. So I don't think it's a site power problem. This place is completely empty. I'm the only one here. Um, it's what the car's requesting. This battery, I think this battery has to be in optimal temperature for it to um, hit the full um, 225, 230 kilowatts of uh, peak. I believe it's that on, uh, on, on this car. Different sites give you diff different numbers. But um, yeah, this is the first Electrify Canada site I've used that hit, the prop that hit good speeds and didn't give me any problems with uh, connections as we saw a few weeks ago in Cornwall with the Ionic 5. Uh, yeah, so far so good. If it could maintain 150, 175, you're perfectly fine. I don't think there's that much of a time difference between the two based on the research I've done. We are at seven minutes till 80%. Charge time, we've been here 21 minutes. Again, plugged in 11% state of charge. It is absolutely freezing out here. It is probably, I would say zero, zero degrees Celsius, maybe two degrees uh, Celsius. So it's absolutely brutal out here. We've delivered almost 50 kilowatt hours of energy. We've, we've tapered right down to 105 kilowatts of speed. It's saying set six minutes until 80%. As I've already mentioned, um, maybe, maybe um, you shouldn't be seeking out those higher speed sites if they're a bit out of the way on a road trip. Uh, as I said, this car is a pretty solid charging curve based on, on, uh, on, on what I see. And uh, I don't think there's much of a time difference between the two. It maybe, maybe like I said, eight to 10 minutes max, which is, I, I don't think it's worth frustration seeking out the 350s. I mean, obviously if they're close and you have access to them, use them. But um, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I don't see that big of a time difference between the, um, the uh, two. Maybe, maybe find a 150 or like ABB Terra 184 and you're good to go. But yeah, this is really cool. This is, like I keep saying, this is a really nice car. This is a really nice site. We are on winter tires, unfortunately. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, this is one of the nicer Electrified Canada sites I've seen. Well, that one's broken, but I think that one only went down this morning. So that's not the end of the world. And the worst part is this place in a few hours, these outlet, this outlet mall is going to be an absolute madhouse. It's going to be an absolute. I'm gonna deem this test a success. I wanted to see this car maxed out, but sometimes we can't have what we want. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, still, I'm still calling this a success. Um, like I said, we plugged in 11% state of charge. We're one minute till 80%. It's still pulling 110 kilowatts. We will go up to 100% here because I would like to bring back the car to my friend at close to 100%. Um, we've been charging 25 minutes to 80%. It just went 80% right now. So 25 minutes, 56 kilowatts of energy delivered, $11 charging cost. I'm gonna miss it when it goes, when it starts being charged by the kilowatt hour. But yeah, absolutely. This was a total success this test. And as I mentioned uh, before, um, if you could find a 150 or 180 kilowatts um, charging site on a road trip, maybe not necessarily seek out the 350s. I mean, obviously if they're around, yeah, use them, but uh, it's very cold out right now. We had a good charging session. I think the curve is going to be really, the curve, the curve on this car must be really nice. Um, and as I said, we plugged in 11% to 80% was about 25 minutes. And Hyundai says at peak power, everything optimal conditions, this car will do 10% to 80% in, in about 18, 19 minutes. So really not that much time savings in the grand scheme of things. So. I'm going to deem this test a success just based on the, on, on that fact that if you have an ac if you have access to higher speed charging, obviously use it, but maybe don't seek it out. So we're going to go up here to 100%. We went to 100%, and like always, the first 
uh, 80%, so we did 11% to 80%. Took about 25 minutes. Well, up to 100%, I actually stopped at 99, I don't know why. We did 72.6 kilowatt hours. Total charge session was 55 minutes. So it took exactly the same amount of time or just a bit more to get to 100% than it did to 80%. So just keep that in mind when you're at a rapid charger and it's busy, don't go to 100% unless you really have to because you're just wasting your time. We would have been out of here a long time ago. But uh, yeah, very happy with this charging session, very happy with the charging on, on the car. Everything went smooth. I think to hit the optimal numbers and peak charging speeds in this car, you gotta have, everything has to be perfect. The air temperature, the battery temperature, you need these really optimal conditions. But uh, no, very, very happy with the session. Um, like I said, I don't think there's much of a difference between those optimal settings and uh, what we saw here today. Maybe, maybe 10 minutes ma maximum, if that. But um, very happy. And if you've made it this far, maybe think about liking this video and subscribing to this channel. We love making this content and we hope to bring you more. So have yourself a very lovely day and we'll see you again next time.